How's it going guys? Welcome to Knife Banner. Dallas, what are we talking about? Kurt, today we're talking just some new knives that have hit the website recently. Um, I went through there and picked 10 or so and here we are. I love it. Let's talk knives. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Knife Banner. Dallas, how you doing, man? I'm doing great, Kurt. Had a great uh, holiday season with the family, and uh, how about you, yeah? A lot of late nights, playing cards, all sorts of stuff. It was good. Awesome. Should it's we good. jump into this? Yeah, guys, these are some new knives that we have to the website, or some knives that have been brought back in a different variation. Now, I have the first knife. Let's just jump in. Yeah, go, man. All right, guys, I have got this Civivi Baby Banter. Now, this comes in right at uh, just over two and a quarter inch blade. It is Nitro V with the drop point configuration. Flat grind. The designer is our good friend, Ben Peterson, and he's a great friend of mine. I, I like the guy. He makes great knife designs. And it's a Civivi, so you got the great action. It's perfect size. And honestly, like I used to have this knife with a black and a blue, but I gave it to uh, a little youngster who likes knives, yep. you know, but uh, this thing is so fidgetable. Even for a liner lock, so fidgetable. I recently gave my little baby banter away to somebody else who was like, dude, that's awesome knife. I'm like, oh, you should have it. It was a hard one to part with. Now I just right. need a new one. <laughs> so $59 on the website, we've got this red maroon color. We also have a forest green color. Yes, and those were the two new colors. Yes. So that's why it's new here on the table. Yep. That's the Civivi Baby Banter. All right, Kurt, I have the Wii Elementum. Wii, not Civivi Elementum, folks. <laughs> just thought I'd tell you that. Which kind of throws you off, because it it's does. a Civivi Elementum, but this one is the upgraded Wii. Version. Oh yeah, definitely. So it, the Elementum's one of my favorites. For for the Civivi, for a budget, S35 comes in around 80 bucks. This one here comes in 180 bucks. Three inch blade, 20 CV, titanium. It's got an anodized blue on that titanium. And then you also have that deep carry pocket clip and it's a frame lock as well. And this thing here, I mean, this the Wii and Civivi always does such a good job. The Elementum is a fabulous, fabulous knife. I think and it's it a, a favorite. Pocket. It's a favorite of most. Yeah, oh yeah. I, you know, and there's another one coming up too that might have slid over the Elementum in my favorites of the Wiis. Uh -oh. It might, what? It might have. What? We'll explain in a minute. That's all I got, Kurt. All right, guys, up next, I have got the Bradford G Cleaver. Look at this. They've got it in this uh, beautiful sheath here <laughs> that hangs around your neck. It's almost like a G Necker, but a cleaver. <laughs> guys, this thing is a work of art. Two and three quarter inch blade. It's got Elmax steel. Uh, it's a cleaver style. Obviously, it's kind of got this clip point cleaver going on. Yeah. Um, Stonewash, made in the US of A, $98. Now, Bradford's fixed blades, they are known to be very tough, stout, mm -hmm. last you forever. Well, Bradford's an amazing. Right. Bradford makes an amazing product. If you don't, now I say that about a lot of knives, but I won't say I like something if I don't like it. Right. But I'm also not extremely picky. For me, the Bradford's small, but yeah. we're doing our neck knife live coming at the end of January that we're gonna do. And Kurt and I are testing out these neck knives and this is one of them that we're testing out. Yep. To see if we, to see how it does for EDC. If we like neck knives, uh, it's yet to be determined for me, but but yeah, I mean, Bradford does a really good job I feel with like, the Max. I feel like I'm getting whiplash every Dude. time I pull that out. It's like, <laughs> it's like the, the minimalist, the CRKT. <laughs> every time I pop that baby out, whack! Yeah. <laughs> The anyway. sheath comes, hits yep. you in the face. Guys, $98 on the website, and that is the G Cleaver. I'm gonna <laughs> wear it. Wear it, Kurt. Oh, oh. <laughs> the next knife I have, Kurt, is fun. 
And the reason why I say it's fun, folks, is this is the Cansep Fusa. 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 Look at that little bat. I love <laughs> That's it. That's a cute little knife. Now, this here is a flipper. Uh, it's got a little detent, but it's got no lock. So it's just got a mild, very, very mild detent. I'll show you in just one second. I'll try not to rock it's that It's almost back and as forth. spooky as the bat and spider. It's so cute, though. It is. This is a cute it's little a cute knife. spooky. It comes in <clears throat> three inch blade, 154 cm with that Tonto on there. Um, the designer's Rolf Helbig. Yep. Rolf Helbig. I hope Rolf. I, I hope I pronounced that right. But yeah, I mean, watch this, folks. You just push and you close that baby. You can. The detent is so light. I mean, you can. <laughs> yeah. No. You can. Fl I've flicked it and closed it before, but just make sure your fingers aren't in there when it, you nudge that it baby. It definitely likes to uh, you drop it. shut at high speeds. And you know what, though? It's just a cute. Little fun, cute. I, I keep saying cute because it's a cute little knife. My my daughters when they watch this video, they're seriously they're gonna text me like, Dad, give me the knife, because they <laughs> love it. They love the mermaid. They love all the cute little knives. Anyway, yeah. Oh, uh, comes in at 70, 70 bucks I think on the website. Sweet. Yeah, and they have a couple of new different variations. Yes. There's this one with the bat, and uh, there's... there's some others with the bat, but it's in different configurations and right. colors. So. I picked this one because it's really bright and I really like that cute little bat. So there's little fangs. I like it. I don't know, cute little bat. Cute so little knows. bat. All right, guys, up next, I have got the Civivi Appalachian for those of you from the mm -hmm. area out there or Appalachian, but I'm going to go with the Appalachian Drifter 2. Now, this thing is really cool. It's got a clip point blade. You got G10 here with some carbon fiber carbon fiber on the bolster. <laughs> wow. Uh, I'm a little under the weather, so my words might mix quite yeah. a bit. But it's just short of a three inch blade, nitro V steel, hollow grind, uh, like we talked about the carbon fiber in the G10. It is a liner lock. It does have a deep carry pocket clip and it's very purpley. I like it, but I was the one that picked it. No, I think this is a great <laughs> knife. I also like the nail nick, just with the aesthetic of how it just kind of fades off onto yeah. the clip point. Yeah, this knife is really cool, guys. I love it because it's a front flipper. That's always a little more fun to fidget with. All right, guys, the Appalachian Drifter 2 is right in there around $90. Nitro V is good still. Too. Nitro V, front flipper. That is a fun knife. Right. I have the Wii. <laughs> I almost say bacon every time because I like bacon. I like the bacon. The wee beacon. I like bacon too. Should we just rename it the bacon? Yes. <laughs> this here is the wee beacon. Comes in at just right at 200 bucks, three and a half inch blade, 20 CV drop point. Uh, it's got the titanium scales that are uh, anodized blue. And then you got this pocket clip as well. And I love their, their deep carry pocket clip. Um, this thing here with the heavy frame lock. Um, Dude, I love that this knife. This one here. So this one here, I love the Elementum. The Elementum is is near and dear to me. That was the first. I mean, I bought some real knives, but that was the right. first like real, real knife I ever got. Right. Which is odd because uh, I've always been a knife guy, but I'm super cheap. So hence my gas station knives. But <laughs> but I love the Elementum. But this thing here is like an Elementum XL. It really is. It is a beaut. I'm telling you guys, that thing that's probably the knife that we played with the most yeah. on the table before we started. But I love blue. For whatever reason, I love blue and purple and then anodized. If, if you guys don't know, I really like anodized titanium. Yeah, just a I little. I really like it. And oh, I've got a little surprise for him. Yeah, you do. Our pocket check. Anyway, let's get moving. All right, guys. Up next, I have got the Microtech Ultratech 2. Now, it First of all, I want to show you guys this new scale design that they've got. I think it's kind of cool. Kind of gives me that like spine, like a, a human mm -hmm. spine texture type of thing. Um, M390 steel. Guys, this is an Ultratech. The, it, it's just, it speaks yeah. for itself. It's just shy of a three and a half inch blade, M390 steel, drop point, and a flat grind. Uh, made in the USA, guys, it's a Microtech. 
You know, and when I look at that blade, it really, again, it's a Microtech. So, I mean, what's not to love? It's going to have quality going. I look at that blade. It looks hefty. It looks like it wants to work. It is. So which, an it, OTF, I'm just... They kind of have, they've kind of grind down the spine a little bit, yep. but then it flares back out here on the tip. So you get a lot of extra tip strength. And honestly, for an OTF, you kind of need that. Yeah. But yeah. I think this is a cool new design mm -hmm. that they're doing uh, from Microtech. Really cool Ultratech, right around $390 on, on the, the website. Bronze and black, I love it. Gotta love, love the bronze and black. All right, Paragon ERT, or ERT, as I've been saying. ERT. Um, yeah, it's Paragon. If you don't know Paragon, check them out. They're a US company. This one here comes in 190 bucks, three and a half inch blade, S30V. I'll, I'm trying to twist this a little bit so the light hits it. I've had some people reach out and say, dude, can you not rock it so fast? I'm like, okay, just so it hits. Um, anyway, yeah, this is a Tonto. The only, the fit and finish of this is really good. Yeah. But let me explain something real quick. Oh yeah, and it's got your pocket clip. So, I mean, it's, it's tip a decent down. Move. Yeah. Tip down. Interesting. Tip down, which I'm not a huge fan of. No. But again, this is the only other issue I have with this knife is a chisel grind. I, not your favorite? It's not my jam. I, I I mean, I just, it's beautiful. I just, I just pref not prefer a chisel grind. Yeah. People have said, why not? What the heck? I, I don't know. I don't know why I don't. I just don't like it. To be honest, I don't know how to sharpen a chisel grind. They're difficult. Not, they're not difficult. It only gives you one side to sharpen. Right. But I found that I get a little overly aggressive when I sharpen the chisel grind. Yeah. So it can kind of sometimes roll that baby roll. over. Get that on the other side, yeah. yeah. So then you got to knock it off. But anyway, yeah. Oh, yeah. One hundred ninety bucks. Not bad. All right, guys. My last knife on the table is the Medford M forty eight. Now, this is a very cool knife. I actually got to uh, sit down with Greg at Shot Show, not Shot Show, Blade Show last, last year. year, and uh, he explained some of these things for the M forty eight. So the M48 is the tank, it's a battle tank that was introduced, I think in 1952-ish. Yeah. Now, this is a really cool piece because Patton, General Patton, he, he was- He's my favorite. He, he was one of the biggest designers in military history in the M48 tank. Right here, you have the tank treads, which is really cool. It's a very straightforward knife. Uh, not not a whole lot. It's not like the Praetorian, where the Praetorian, no. you've you've got a lot to uh, look at and functions differently, yeah. right? Um, but this one, what Greg made this knife because the grandson of Patton yep. came to him and said. I would love a knife that could show the history and uh, be a little pride piece for mm -hmm. the patent name. So he did, and this thing is a beaut S35 VN steel. It is just shy of a four inch blade, uh, drop point, flat grind, aluminum scales. It's got a titanium frame lock here on the back. Uh, you got your deep carry pocket clip here. And it has this little cute little American bully. This is an amazing knife. Comes in at $500, but you are not only buying the quality that Medford brings to the table, but you're also buying the patent name. Yeah. You know, it, General Patton was, is one of my favorite people to read about. I've watched the movies, you know, George C. Scott does his. It's amazing. I love it. I watch all the time. I mean, outside the little, the little, the little, uh, uh, Easter eggs on it. There's right. not, a, I mean, that knife, when Greg designed that knife, it's basic. Oh yeah. No, it's this is slim, like. It's functional and it's basic and I love it. Yep. I and agree. the fit and finish is obviously amazing. It's a Medford, so. Made in the USA. 100%. Uh, $500. I'm not sure if I caught the price on there earlier, but $500 for the M48. And there's different colors also in the M48. Yeah, there sure is. All right, my last knife on the table is the James brand, the Carter XL. 
Um, this one here's got the micarta scales, <clears throat> excuse me, with that thumb disc. Uh, three and a quarter inch blade, VG10 steel. Um, and it's got the, the I don't know what lock they call it, the access lock. I think they call it. it like the A lock the or a the lock. X lock or yeah. the Z lock. I don't know, guys. It's it's the lock that <laughs> that Benchmade made famous, let's just say. Yes. Um, this one here, I love it. It fits in my paws pretty good. The blade shape and the thickness of that blade is one of my favorites. I like about a three and a quarter, three and a half inch blade on my EDC, but I also like a little height to it, that flat grain. Yeah. So it's a slicer. And that's what I find I do a lot of my stuff with is, you know, cutting boxes, cutting steak, cutting veggies even. I was over the weekend processing with my super secret knife that I'm going to show everybody here in just one second. <laughs> if you follow me on Instagram, you see it. But this one here, it's, you can use the lock to flip it open. Um, it comes in at $180. I like it, but just, just remember that sometimes with the micarta, you have to make little adjustments on the pivot and whatnot. Just right. Um, other than that, I really like it. It's super light. This baby is light. I actually prefer the XL over the regular yeah. Carter because this one actually fills my hand. You yep. know what I mean? The other one is a tad smaller. My pinky always hangs off, and I find the blade length to just be just a smidge too small for me. Yeah. But again, if you're into small knives, that's 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 great. Um, I have small knives and I love them. Yeah. I just find myself carrying stuff like this. That's awesome. Guys, these knives are just a few that are new to the website or new variations to the website. So check out the website and check these knives out. Now, in your pocket? let's do pocket checks. I wanna see yours first. Okay. Cause mine's gonna blow this one away. As of when <laughs> this video airs, we should have a fresh shipment of the AD 20.5 from Demco. <clears throat> Shark lock, it's a pretty cool knife. I've been carrying it. It's very fidgetable. I like the drop point better yeah. than their shark foot. I don't like the shark foot. Right. And that shark lock is fidgetable. Very I, fidgety. Actually, I have a question for you guys out there. For those of you who have handled the AD 20.5, is this more fidgetable than the Axis Lock? That's Ooh. what I want to know. That's just my question. I don't know the answer, but I would love to hear your guys' opinion. I that, would too. That's my pocket check. Here's mine. Yes. I have a hard time with Spidey flicking, but I've got this dialed in. This is my Manix 2 with Flitanium scales. It's titanium. One of the guys here and a friend of mine, Troy, he's he's just a young kid. He's a teenager. And he was practicing. And I told him, I said, he's like, yeah, I'm just practicing, trying to learn how to do this stuff. And I told him, I said, you know what? Why don't you take my Mannix and blow your own mind? I want to see what you can do with this. So he had it for about two weeks or so, maybe even longer than that. But he comes back to me and he comes into my little cubicle. He walks over to me and he says, all right, Dallas, you ready? I'm like, I'm ready. I said, did you blow your mind? He's like... I think I did. And he pulls this out and he flicks it open. And I'm like, I instant fell in love with this thing. Just it's so cool. There's so much to look so at. Cool. The Maddox is just a great knife anyway. This is the S30V version, yeah. which I appreciate. It's a very functioning still. The blade shape, I didn't know if I was going to like it, but I've used this. I've used the Maddox for a couple of months, but I really appreciate it. And then you throw these scales on. Holy cow. This is my, this is my little pocket flex right there. That's my... That's the that's the one. I'm super proud of it, and, and it's not even just that. It's that Troy did something totally amazing, and I love that thinking the, outside the box. God, the kid did awesome. I I I told him I said, dude, this is your this is your jam, bro. You need to figure this out. He's he's, he's good, good at it. Really he's good. Really good. Anyway, and like you said, especially for a young guy. You oh know? yeah, I mean he's only like 19. He's just an amazing kid. Smart kid. Very good kid. Well, guys, that's all we have for you today on the show. Make sure you jump over to Blade HQ and check out these and other knives, and we'll catch you on the next one. Welcome to the end screen, folks. If you made it this far, please like and subscribe. Um, leave us a comment about these knives. If you like what you saw, go click our playlist and uh, check out the links below. Catch you next time.